Alberta NDP are implementing a pilot program for 18 daycare centres to come through on the election promise of $25 a day daycare. The $10 million program commits up to $500,000 to each centre with a potential extension for two years. Great idea, right? Wrong. Alberta already has a program and families making under $50,000 a year get the full subsidy and families making under $70,000 a year get a partial subsidy which actually amounts to less than $25 a day daycare in some cases for families. So depending on where you live, the maximum monthly subsidy amount for infants is $714. For toddlers, $621. And for elementary school age kids is $355. And the NDP are also implementing a $3.5 million lunch program to go along with the daycare pilot program to 14 public schools. And you can argue that taxpayers shouldn't have to pay for kids that people can't afford, which is a totally valid point to make. But there are already programs that don't rely on the government or public money in place to address this issue. So there are already these great groups of people forming these types of initiatives without reaching for your wallet for an involuntary handout. Right here in Calgary, we have brown bagging for Calgary's kids. They work in partnership with Calgary schools to provide lunches for 3,200 kids a day and they do it for a dollar per kid thanks to their network of 1,200 partners. So why are the NDP throwing more money at daycares and lunch programs and trying to fix something that's not broken? Well, they're counting on Albertans to be uninformed about the current subsidy program so that they can virtue signal over how much they love the children, all while wasting taxpayer money. In fact, they're allocating more funds to programs that are already funded. What's more is that the NDP admit that they're rolling out the new programs as pilots due to the economic situation in the province instead of running a full program across the province. In other words, we can't afford it. Chalk these two projects up to more unnecessarily wasted tax dollars on behalf of the Alberta government. And this just goes to show that the NDP are in the business of overhauling absolutely every policy in the province simply to put their ideological stamp of approval on whatever they can. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Have you checked out my friend Sheila Gunn-Reed's best-selling book, The Destroyers? It has all of the details about our destructive Alberta NDP government that you won't find anywhere else. Click the link below to get your copy.